Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our Active SG Basketball Academy Facebook Live. Uh, so today, we invited another Slingers player. So he's going to showcase us uh, some workout. Uh, some workout. Then, uh, okay. John, you ready? So maybe you can give yourself some uh, a little introduction about yourself. Yep. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, so hi, my name is John. I'm from the Singapore Slingers. I played the point forward position. Um, 26 this year, I'm currently studying in the Singapore Institute of Management. Yep. And yes, today we'll be showing you guys some uh, ball control work as well as some passing drills. Yeah, lastly, you have some call work, am I right? Okay. Okay, uh, so. So I, I shall start. So every every time uh, our normal routine, we will go through our warm up first. Okay. So at the start of the session, I will be leading you the warm up. Okay. Yep. So ready? And go. Let's get started. Okay. Now we'll start with jogging on the spot. Okay. Jogging on the spot. A bit stationary. So ready? And go. So slow jog first. Yeah. Slow jog. Slow jog. Okay. Slow jog. Okay, and go free jump. Okay, John, run towards the camera. Give me a high five, tap. Run on again, tap. <laughs> and back, back, back. <laughs> okay. And relax. Okay, next one I want you, I want, okay, we, we'll be working on jumping jacks. Okay, jumping jacks. So this is how it looks like for side view. Okay, and three, two, one, and go. Okay, okay, next. We'll be going for high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees on the spot. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and go, high knees. Okay, help me not. So, so this high looks like outside view. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, next one. Butt kick, butt kick. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, three, two, one, and go. And five, four, three, two, one and relax. Okay. Now next one, let's get into stationary static drill. Static stretch. So groin stretch. So we get into a get into a squat position, a super squat position. And now push your head towards your towards your legs. Okay, now rotate your hip towards your right. Okay, we're going to stretch our groin. And switch. Do it slowly, use our raise. And relax. Okay, next, hamstring stretch. So, you're gonna extend your leg and try to reach up for your toes. So, you're gonna stretch on all hamstrings. So, this is how it looks like from the side, dude. And switch. And relax. Okay. Now next one. Let's go for our quad stretch. Quads. So this is how it looks like. Let's start new. And switch. And relax. Okay, the last stretch. We're gonna work on our hip stretch. I mean, our hip flexor. Okay, so get into this stance. 
And then you're going to curl, stretch your cheek. You can stretch over here. Okay, then you can lift up your hands. So right now my left leg's at the back, my right leg's in front, so I lift up my left hand. So you'll feel, you'll feel a stretch on your left hip, like so. And switch. Right leg back, left leg forward. Now, we'll be stretching our right hip, like so. We can lift up our right hand. Okay, this is, this is a great stretch. I would strongly recommend you do it every single day. In five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so before we start, everybody grab some drinks. Then I'm going to hand over to John. Okay, John, you ready? Yep. Ooh. Yeah, John, I'm ready. Yep, let's start. So for the very first ball control, what we will be doing will be just the around the waist. Now for this, we'll be doing 10 rounds each. And once you're done with the 10 round, you can alternate it and do another 10 times. Now you guys ready? Yep, and let's go. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Nice. Now, moving on, we'll be doing the figure of eight. Same thing, we'll be doing ten repetitions each. Once you're done, we just alternate it and do the reverse ten times. You guys ready? And let's go. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Nice. Now, we'll be doing seated ball toss with claps. So for Coach Q and I, we'll be only doing three claps. But if you can do more than three claps, don't feel free to challenge yourself, right? So for every toss, it's considered one rep. We'll be doing 20 reps of this. That's ready. And three, two, one, and go. One, one. Two. Single head toss from your right, right to left. So you will you will go something like that. Now for each hand toss, we'll be doing 10 reps. You guys ready? And three, two, one, and go. Now, we'll be moving on to our passing drills. So, for the first passing drill we're going to do, we'll be lying, chest pass, to the ceiling. Now, for this, I need you guys to lie down onto the, on the floor, and from the chest, pass up, 
and receive the ball. Now make sure when you guys are doing the line chest pass, you guys are passing straight in a straight line motion and make sure your ball doesn't waver left to right. Right? And we'll be doing 20 reps of this. And let's go. Three, four, five. Make sure the ball is straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Right? Yep, I'm ready. Done. Coach Q, you good? Yeah, I'm totally good. All right. That's good. Now we'll be moving on to the standing chest pass. Now, I know, I know a lot of you guys. Uh, might not have the luxury to pass off the wall because uh, you know it might generate noise. So for me, I improvise it in such a way whereby I use my mattress as my wall. Now, Coach Q will show his improvised way of doing it. Coach Q. Yeah, so look at this. This is where I come in. Okay, so look at this. Okay, this, uh, this is my improvised, uh, improvised basketball. Okay, so basically, I use a lot of newspaper. I wrap, crush it, crush it, wrap it together. Then I use a scotch tape, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Then I use a clean wrap, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Then I use a scotch tape and I wrap it, wrap it again. No, this is a basket, this is a basketball now. Okay, so basically, when you hit the wall, it will, it will reduce the noise. Okay, so maybe you guys can try it. So I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas. Okay? Right. Yeah. Okay, so before, yeah, before we do the standing chest bar, just a few things to take note. Uh, take note. Make sure when you guys are passing out, you guys step through, you guys first and foremost be in your triple trap position. Step through your pass and follow through your pass. And once you receive a ball back, be back in your triple trap position. Same thing, step through and make a pass. Okay? Right. We'll be doing 20 repetitions of this. Ready? And three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, two, three, three. Now, moving from the standing chest pass, we'll be doing a single hand pass. Now, for this, everything is still the same. Make sure you guys be in your triple track position and step through, extend your hand, follow through the pass. Now, for this, we're going to do 10 repetitions for each hand. Right? Yep. 10 repetitions for each hand. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready, John. Two, one, let's go. One. One. Two, three, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Yeah. Now we change. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, nice. Yep, I'm good, John. Yep, good. Okay, yep. so now, before we move on to the core workout, right, just like to emphasize why we do single hand passes. Yep, because at times, uh, 
certain angle doesn't allow us to do a chest pass straight to your teammates. Yeah, so this is why with the single passes, you get more variety of angle to pass to your teammate, which really helps your game, right? And let's go for a quick water break. I need it. Yeah, hydrate yourself, everybody. It's like what I say, let's work on small little details, okay? Simple things like passing, these things that we can work on, okay? So if you or your parents or your brothers or your whoever can help you out, you guys uh, don't, you can just pass to one another. Like for me and John, we might not have this luxury, so basically I'm, I'm just trying to improvise new ways, okay? So uh, I'm ready, John. You can ready? Right. Go. Now, moving on, we will be doing call work. All right, let's go. Now, the very first call work we're going to do will be sit up with the ball. Right? So it goes something like that. Just like any regular sit up. With the ball touching your knee, we'll be considered one rep. And we'll be doing 20 repetitions of this. You guys ready? Yep. All right. Let's go. Three, two, one, and go. One, one, two, three, four, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Right, nice. Now, Coach, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, right. now we're moving on. Two Russian twists with the ball. So it goes something like this. A twist. Right. Now, if this is too easy for you guys, I suggest that you guys can improvise it in such a way whereby you guys can toss it in the air, twist, and see the ball back. Right? Toss it, twist, and see the ball back. Okay, but for Coach Q and I, we were just doing a normal Russian twist with ball. Right? And for this, we'll be doing um, 20 repetitions of it. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yep. Three, two, one, and go. Six. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Nineteen and twenty. Right. Okay, now we're moving on to flutter kicks with ball. Now, same thing, you guys go to lie down on the floor and then lift your legs up, engage your core, and move your feet in an up and down movement. So it goes something like this. Right? And for this, we'll be doing 10 counts of four. Right? Right, let's okay. go. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. One. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, last two, and relax. Right, nice. Now, moving on from this, we'll be doing Cross leg with the ball. Now, for, from the flutter kick just now, your feet is moving in an up and down movement, right? But for your cross leg, you'll be moving in a left to right movement. Same thing, legs up, engage your core, left to right. Same, all right? Now we'll yep. be doing 10 counts of four for this as well. And if you guys ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, 
two, three, four. Nine, two, three, four. Last two, and relax. Right. All right, nice. Okay, let me take a sip of water first. You're right, John. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Now, for the next four, what we're going to do will be ball with planks. So you go something like this, right? Now, if this is slightly too, too difficult for you guys, you guys can, you know, just do a high plank, which, which is your push-up position, or you can just do regular planks, right? But for Coach and I today, we'll be doing ball planks. And for this, we'll be doing for 30 seconds. Coach you do yeah. a plank. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm Let's ready, John. I will count. All right. Three, two, one, and go. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and twenty. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And night and relax. Oh. Oh. Right. You good to go? Yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, let's go. Now, next, we'll be doing push up with planks. And again, if it's too difficult for some of you guys, you guys can just stick to regular push ups or even doing a push up with only supporting it. Right? And for this, yep. we'll be doing 10. 10 repetition of it. Now, if you guys, if you guys ready, and three, two, one, and go. Oops. <laughs> oh, well. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, ten. Ten. Right, nice. Now for the last call, what we'll be doing will be the feet to ball. So you will go something like this. Feet to ball. Nice. Yeah. Yes. And we'll be doing 10 reps of it. And make sure you are engaging a call while you're doing this. Right? You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready, John. Right. Three, two, one, and go. One. One, two, Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good workout, John. Okay. Yep. And yeah, why we do core workout, just like I briefly explain, is because, um, you know, having a strong core uh, brings you a uh, better stability and balance, which, we, which will really enhance in your basketball performance. Right? Yep, yep, yep. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay, so whatever, whatever John uh, came out with this workout, Okay, so if you think it's too easy, so you can up the intensity or you can just create your own. We are just trying to give you some uh, variation of what you can do and you can just uh, maybe do five sets. So it's, it's all uh, by yourself. Okay, so you can adjust by yourself. Okay, uh, and okay now, that's what I say now. I will, I will be using this time to give uh, John a question, questionnaire. Okay, so are you ready, John? So while you guys are listening, uh, ah, let me let me just, grab some water. Yeah, okay, just grab, grab some drinks. Or most important, you got to stretch down. Okay, stretch down is very very important. Okay, whichever you have any workout. Okay, so now, John, you ready? Yep. Okay, so now the first question: How do yes. you start? How do you start pick, uh, picking up basketball? How do I? Oh, right. Now, I, uh, I first started 
bring out basketball at the age of uh, 10, you know, together with some of my friends, my neighbors, uh, we just um, roam around the, the, the neighborhood and then we eventually found a basketball court and we, you know, we started uh, balling from there. Yeah. And uh, I first started an organized, uh, to be part of an organized basketball team is uh, when I was secondary one. Uh, that, 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 that was when I was exposed to a more structured practices uh, and uh, competition as well. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I got the same experience like, like you when I, was, when, I, when I was in a childhood. You know, I started playing bus, uh, I started playing volleyball as well. I mean, I, volleyball first, then followed by soccer with, with my friends, then roam around, around the neighborhood. Then, uh, then I, I think I met Leon on our neighbor, neighborhood con, court. Okay, so this is where all, start, uh, all started. Okay, so uh, right. it's never too late to be, uh, it's never too late in the sports. Okay, like John, uh, I think I was, uh, me also started about 13, 14 years old. Okay, so we are considered like a late boomer. Unlike most of them, they are, uh, most of the kids, they, they, they started like in primary school. Yeah, they started okay, so, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's never too late. Okay, it's, it's, it's better you got a real, you got uh, you got to put in the effort. Yeah, that, that's the key. Okay, so uh, next next question. Yes. Does basketball make an uh, make an impact to you in your life? Okay, right. Uh, you know, basketball sure make a huge impact in my life because it uh it really cultivated some uh important values in me, which benefit which benefited me to this day, and I believe that it will benefit me in the future as well. You know, values such as uh being disciplined. Uh, self-discipline, you know, having the self-discipline to uh, attend every practice, having a self-discipline to revise your work where you are needed to, and yeah, self-discipline. Yeah, that, I mean that's a that's a that's a good point. I mean, you, you got very as a as a student athlete, you got to be self-disciplined enough. And uh, right. and now nowadays, uh, as as you all know, we got this program called DSA. Uh, most of the most of the kids, you will be able to, you, you might be able to get into a better school or who, who got this DSA program. Yeah, so basketball, I mean sports, not, not just basketball, might be able to help you that, which most of the uh, parents nowadays, they, 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 want, they, they want their kids to get into this uh, program. Okay, so, right, so for the last question, okay, last question, maybe last question, I think, yes, 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 no, but how you felt, being part of this journey with the Singapore Slingers and, and at the same time, uh, from what I know, you are a student athlete. Right. Okay. Um, being part of the Singapore Slingers is actually a really huge honor as well as a very humbling experience. You know, I get to compete against uh, some of the best, some of the best locals in Singapore as well as the uh, uh, imports. Yeah. And most importantly, I, yeah. And most importantly, I learned a lot from the coaching staff. So they really teach different uh of different reads on the offensive end as well as the defensive end, which really helps me as a player in general. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what I mean. Uh going through this program is that is is that very uh eye opener and you get to because Singapore singer is what is the only uh professional, professional team in Singapore. Okay, so I, I think this uh, is really eye opening. I still remember when when, I, when the first time I get uh, get into a Slingers locker room, it was crazy. You, you know, back then, uh, we, uh, Singapore Slingers, our home court, the Slingers home court is held at uh, C, uh, Singapore Indoor Stadium. Right. So the first time when I went into the locker room, it was like, oh, this is like NBA, you know, it's like we got our own locker shelf. Yeah, so, and the entire structure, we got to come in two hours before the, before the games, then uh, we, we have to prepare our uh, pre-game routine, all this. Like, we grab our subways, everything, you know. I mean, it was awesome. Okay, I mean, yeah. Then the other thing, as a student athlete, I, yeah, I think that's a good right. point. You've got to really prioritize. you got to really prioritize your, what you want in life. I mean, that's, that's the reason why the last, uh, the last session, I asked this question about the goal, uh, setting goals. Okay, so, because as a student uh, athlete, okay, you got to really... Uh, know how to prioritize your time. You gotta know what you want in order to achieve your goal. Okay. Right, so, right. just <laughs> just last question. 
Okay, I mean just some fun fact. Okay, so you are actually I've been no I mean I know you since since the first time you get into national team, then followed by the Springers. Yeah, I think back then was like I think it was like when two zero one four one three. So yeah, all the time. okay. So and this question I would like to ask you. From what I know, uh, you got you got an idol. Am I right? And I think he's my idol as well. Okay, this is my senior. <laughs> so can can you tell me who is this guy and tell me more about how much it, it impact in your basketball career or in your life? Yeah. <laughs> come, on, come on, John, don't be shy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was about to elaborate it. Yeah. <laughs> so um uh I would say he's someone that I look up to when I was young because he's part of the he was the only few that was part of the Slingers when they are playing in the NBL in Australia. Correct. correct. And, and yeah, and it turns out he to be uh, to be my coach in the in my youth youth team club. So actually, he's one of the few that really uh started training in an organized started training me in a really organized manner, which really helped me improve my game. Yeah. So shout out to Coach Komin Kun. Uh, hey, so so for those okay, so basically. This this person, Komin Kun, uh, he's currently uh, he was a he's currently a ex national, you know, player. ex national team player and a ex uh Singapore singles player. So he's the first uh first first few first local two. that compete to represent Singapore singles in the NBL. What I mean by NBL, National Basketball League, is not the Singapore National ICBC Basketball League. Uh. Okay, so it's basically the Australia Division One. The division one, which they call it a uh, NBL, the National Basketball. So back then, Singapore Singers would compete in this league. So it it uh, acquire. I think most of them, most of the players are all Australian. So I think uh, back then, there's only two locals. Okay, Parman. Yeah, I remember. Is, yeah, I remember. Uh, there are two locals only. Yeah, I think. I think. I think Parman. Parman was the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I think Min Kun. Uh, back then, when when I first get into a uh, national team, right? Oh, uh, he he give. He gave us. I mean, the last year he get. Uh, he was in the national team. I was. I was so lucky that I'm. And this. That was my first year in the national team. So he gave a lot of young players a lot of uh, guidance, and I, I think I think he's a good role model. Okay, so uh, if you guys are interested, you can hit John up and get to get to know more information about him. Okay, so yeah, and right. and to end off to end off with this. So if you uh, are interested. Uh, in knowing more about the Singapore Slingers and the ASEAN Basketball League where the Singapore Slingers compete, you can just uh just check them out in the IG and uh, Facebook page. And yeah, this is a routine. So don't forget about Active SG Basketball Academy. Okay? Right. So yes, this Active SG Basketball Academy. So you uh you can you can actually check us out in, in our Facebook and IG. We are we are coming out with uh different videos and we are trying to come out with uh, more content. Uh, and uh, just you also your sling, slingers they are having their live uh, session I think, like, every Friday yeah, every Friday 5pm uh, there will be different slingers coming up to answer your question and there's some challenges out, uh, out there and yeah so stay tuned for more videos for, for us I mean for you all okay so uh, and lastly please remember to stay safe stay healthy and remember to wash your hand after this session okay so see you soon take care Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, John. Okay? Take care. Okay? Take care. Yeah.